Hello, welcome to HBM's UFO Corner. We're going to be talking about this week the Pascagoula alien abduction case. This is from the Clarion Ledger, which is the local Jackson, Mississippi newspaper. They didn't make it up. Interview recording services in Pascagoula alien abduction case. He was genuinely scared. He was telling Charlie, don't talk to the deputies. They'll come back and get us. They didn't make it up. I can guarantee that. That was the interview with the two abductees, Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker. Now, Calvin Parker has since passed away as well. This is an article from 2020. This article is four years old. This event allegedly occurred over 50 years ago. It was about the time the coronavirus hit, Parker of Moss Point said of when he received two copies of the recording. I've been talking with him on the internet. He just showed up and... S I think he's referring to the man who had the recordings. Had two, I guess, two copies of the recordings. 
Parker explained the man who gave him copies of the recording was an officer of the Pascagoula Police Department on the night the abduction occurred, but does not want to be identified. Parker said the officer was involved because he fielded roughly 50 phone calls that night from people claiming to have seen something unusual in the sky. When I sat down and listened to it, it hit me how real all of this was, Parker said. It kind of choked me up a little bit. I, not the full recording, just the piece where Charlie and I were locked in the room and they walked out. I was surprised they had the whole thing on tape. At the time, Parker said he did not know there was a recorder in the room. I had no idea, Parker said. Apparently, Charlie didn't either. They was all hid. Now, this, the event took place... October 11th, 1973, and apparently the police interview took place the same night. The interview took place on October 11th, 1973, after Parker and Hickson claimed they were abducted by aliens while fishing from the bank of the Pascagoula River. News of the event thrust the two into the media spotlight and put the town of Pascagoula on the map. It was unwanted attention for Parker, who tried to distance himself from it. <clears throat> so, did this happen? There are individuals who are saying, "Well, it couldn't have. It couldn't have been faked. It couldn't have been hoaxed." So, who knows? It's entirely possible this did happen. Either way, it's a very interesting case of alien abduction. I mean, we, we, we already talked about, discussed of course, the Travis Walton alien abduction as well. So, and that was a very fascinating case as well. This is a pretty interesting case also. I'm inclined to believe that, that the witnesses did have something like this happen to them. Oh, of course, talked about Barney and Betty Hill as well. So there are quite a few alien abduction cases within the realms of the UFO lore. And that's going to do it for this week. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. You guys are the heart of the show. I'm going to be going back to weekly starting next week. So we'll be weekly now. Starting next week. So until then, y'all be good or be good at this way. Two M's UFO corner.